Hey, hi there. See, reading a blog is very important and in this video I'm going to tell you how we can use blogs to improve your vocabulary, to improve your communication skills and to be a better communicator because there are some great vloggers like Chetan Bhagat. His vlogs are really nice, I man. You can just read his blogs and in this blog, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to, do, in fact, here is the blog, as you can see, I'm going to do analysis of this blog, how words are used, how they use phrases, and how, is, how similes are used. I'm going to do detailed analysis, just stick here and see. So here we go. Uh, yes, of course, it's a Times of India blog. Chetan Bhagat is the author. So here, the title, Lessons from Layoffs. Now, what is a layoff? Layoff, understand? Layoff is a, a, a announcement that you are not required anymore and they, they just tell you to leave the organization. Uh, it, it can be, you can, you can be dismissed, you can be terminated, maybe temporary or permanent also. This is a layoff. Most of you know this. So, lessons from layoffs. Lessons from the layoffs which happened. Don't fall in love with office and save like now see here, save like crazy, save like crazy when you can, save like crazy, save like crazy means what you understand this is called a simile. A simile is used to express your feelings when you compare one thing with another thing using the word like it's direct comparison. One thing, save, saving like crazy. So your directly comparison, comparing saving with crazy, like save like crazy means what save like crazy means very simple, save more and more and more. Now. Like we can use a simile where like is used. Like uh, he sleeps like a log. He sleeps like a log. Or he drinks like a fish and smokes like a chimney. Drinks like a fish and smokes like a chimney. What it means? He's alcoholic and he's a chain smoker. See how these similes are used in a better way. Uh, you can use like he eats like a pig. Or it cuts like a butter. It cuts like a butter. Can you can you give me more examples in the comments? Please give me so that we can have a healthy discussion over here. We can exchange better similes. Come on, do that. Let me move forward now. Now, see here how it is written and how they write and how we can use it for better communication. Okay, what's common? I hope you can see it. No need to zoom. Uh, am I required to zoom? I will try to zoom it. Yeah, hmm? sufficient for you? Yeah. All right, what's common to Google, Microsoft, Meta, that is Facebook, Amazon, and Twitter? Well, now see, well. Well, well is a kind of a filler, okay? While writing also it is used, while speaking is also used. It has nothing to do with well, that well, uh, that virtual meaning of well, no. Or well, my health is well, the well is deep, no. Apart from being some of the biggest technology companies in the world, they all recently fired a significant number of employees. In fact, in fact, across the tech section, lacks of competent, competent means what? A person who is uh, good, he has all the necessary skills, qualities, is competent. Can you do one thing? Can you write a similar word for competent? Synonyms. Similar word for competent, write in the comment. First I told you, like, similes I told you to write. And also write, what are the similar words for competent? Let me see how many of you can do that. Let us have a healthy discussion there. Okay, qualified workers have lost their jobs. Now, these were once the most coveted, the pronunciation say, coveted, say with me, coveted. Now what is meaning of coveted? Coveted means a job which everyone craves for. Like we can say, you, you enviously desire it. Enviously desire it means what? You just want it. Covet it. For example, I can use this word in this way that. So finally, India won the coveted World Cup. Means everyone is craving for it, desiring for it. Coveted. Better word. Okay. These companies often topped. See, it is used in quote, best places to work. It's quote. Now why it is written in quote? The reason is the author wants to actually tell you that exactly opposite. Though it is being said that these are the best places to work. So it's like he wants to sarcastically 
point it here. Sarcastic means what? Uh, he is saying that this is exactly opposite happening. He's trying to tell that it's exactly opposite that is happening. Getting my point? So that's the reason why single code is used. Surveys offering cool offices. Cool offices. See, so understand how the word cool is used. Cool means what? Of course, very nice and fancy and everything is there. Like now he has explained, free lunches, high salaries and stock options. They give people perks. Now, this is a word, another word, perks. Perks means what? Perks means something which has been given to you uh, other than your salaries. Something which is given to you other than, more than your salary is called as perk. Okay. Now perks, like, okay, bring your pets to work. I don't know which company does that. I mean, you're allowed to bring your pets to work. <laughs> how you're going to work and how you're going to handle them. Anyway, some companies do that. Work from anywhere. That's fine. Work from home, I have heard, but work from anywhere. Take it. Unlimited vacations and off-sites in exotic locations. See, the word is used. Off-sites in exotic locations means off-site means you go and meet uh, somewhere other than your office. Okay. Uh, off-site. Offshore is different. In, in IT field, it is used. Offshore. Off-site is different. Off-site means uh, you are in Mumbai, but you go to Goa. Off-site. In exotic look exotic locations means what locations sir no exotic plants are there exotic plants are those plants which are brought from outside imported from outside do you know exotic fruits exotic vegetables exotic do you remember them okay can you write some of the names here in the comments write them but how quickly things change now, even employees who worked in these companies for decades have been asked to leave. Back home too, jobs have been cut. Now see how it is used. Back home too. Back home means in India. Now, now he was talking about other companies like Facebook and all. They are out of India. Back home too. Back home too. Very interesting way. Jobs have been cut and more are believed to be coming. Now, more are believed to be coming means what? It is expected that more will happen, more jobs will be cut. How is this? So, in this way, you can uh, work on your vocabulary. This is the analysis of this small blog. I hope you will uh, respond and in the comments, you will write what I have told you. Come on, friends. Let us work on our communication. Reading is the key factor. I will keep on coming with different blogs and how different words and phrases and idioms and collocations and all these things are used. Take care and bye-bye. See you.